Checking out cool technology at the Staples Back to School event. We got Dave Griffith here, 3D printing expert enthusiast. What uh, else? Yeah, that sort of covers it. Yep. So uh, 3D printers uh, have really started taking off over the past couple of years. They're not just uh, these things you see in large corporations or universities, but we're actually starting to see them in schools, even elementary schools. Yeah, that's right. It's amazing technology, and because it's uh, a lot more accessible now than in, the, in, than in the first few years, very easy to use, very consumer friendly, and even young students can now pick it up and start printing in a matter of minutes. And so what kind of things are they printing out? You know what? Um, they're to start off, they usually download objects off the internet, uh, pre-made objects that are very easy to print. But as they get more comfortable with the computers and the software, then they start building stuff. And that's when it gets really interesting. What kind of interesting things have you seen printed up by students? <laughs> um, everything from just little widgets and toys uh, right through, um, you know, building replacement parts for computers and building, you know, um, stuff for uh, ve little vehicles they make, you know, little uh, go-kart sort of stuff. You can really print anything you want. And as long as you have the imagination, the sky's really the limit. I just I find it fascinating now. I mean, you can go to Staples online and they've not, not just one 3D printer, there's a whole selection of 3D printers. Yeah, it's becoming very uh, kind of mass market in the sense that there's lots of choices and you have a lot of options depending on if you want something that's very easy to use and very easy for beginners or if you want something that's a little more advanced and you have more control over. Um, there's sort of one, ob or one uh, selection for every skill level. So what are we looking at here? This is one from Dremel, and, and how does the 3D printer work in general? What is it using as, as far as the material? Sure, so this 3D printer uses a process where it has a, a filament that it melts. So you buy this raw filament. The raw filament is uh, delivered in reels like this, and you can get many different colors. Uh, this is a, a bioplastic called PLA, which is very easy to print with. There's other printers that use other types of plastic, but this is one of the easiest to use. So you buy the, the, uh, rule, or the uh, roll of filament, you load it into the printer and you're printing in a matter of minutes you know from the time you turn this on it takes maybe 10 minutes to get it set up and ready to go and then you just hit print and so what kind of knowledge level do you have to have to actually start printing out stuff? Um, it really depends on what you're trying to print. If you're trying to print objects off the internet, all you need to be able to do is use your web browser and one download and dump it on a memory card and you're good to go. And so inside here, can we open up the door? Yeah, so what's what's happening in, in here and what are we printing? Okay, so we're printing uh, just for the back to school crowd. This is a red school bus. And what we're doing um, is there's a build platform there where you see the word Dremel and it's very gradually lowering down towards the bottom of the printer as the print head is taking the plastic and it's melting and it's very printing very thin layers and gradually printing it from bottom to top. How long does it take to actually print something out? It really depends on the complexity of your object. So this school bus is about two hours, but if you have a very simple object, it could be a matter of minutes. If you have a very complex object, yeah, it can be two or three hours, but it really depends on the complexity. And so, you know, as far as the price range for these types of printers now, what, what is the range you're seeing? Um, it really depends on the complexity and how much tweaking and how much fine tuning you want to do. I would say for a good quality printer, you're still looking around $800 to $1,000. Um, and as you go up from that, you get more options, the printer gets more configured, and they also tend to get more um, user friendly. So you may pay a little bit more, but if that relates to being able to just hit the memory card and hit print and have an object come out of it with not a lot of messing around, that's, you know, that's worth its uh, weight and money, I guess you could say. Well, now I don't have to run out and get spare parts for things that I've broken at home. <laughs> it depends on the object, but yeah, a lot of things you can just uh, either design them yourself or there's an amazing variety of stuff on the internet. You just go on the website and say, I want a new lens cap for my Canon 5D camera. Download it, print it, and you're in business in a matter of minutes. Very cool. Thank you. You're very welcome. Let's print an iPhone for me now. Absolutely. Let's do it.